Here we have a 2017 Jeep Compass Limited. One owner, Clean Carfax, 27,000 miles and billet silver. Um, they redesigned these compasses in 17, really a sharp look. Uh, as you can see, they got some nice black accents here in the classic seven slot Jeep grille. Got your uh, halogen headlamps there and your integrated fog lights with LED markers. Uh, you can see a little chrome embellishment in that lower uh, fascia as well as on all the surrounds really sharpens it up. So we come around here to the side, you can see that they give a, uh, uh, a alloy wheel with the dark charcoal gray pockets, uh, multi-spoke wheel. You can also see a nice shiny resurface rotor, thick brake pad, tires here probably about uh, a little better than half, maybe to three quarters, seven, eight, 30 seconds. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that mechanical inspection signed up by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. Just wanna make sure that the next owner knows as much about the mechanical integrity of the vehicles as we do. So we look in here through the passenger side front, you can see that it's a leather trimmed upholstery seats, two bucket seats, console flows in between, uh, dark charcoal carpeting. You can see a little bit of offset orange stitching here that runs throughout. Well, this would be in your compact SUV segment safely uh, transport five occupants but you can see very ample leg hip and shoulder room for the rear occupants there you're not crammed at all um, you can also see some of that stitching that runs throughout kind of offsets it a little bit also in the back here you can see of course your airflow you also can see you have a uh, one, 120 uh, volt power supply and a usb port back there the connectivity of these new vehicles is really really nice for your all your electronic devices see matching continental tire here a little more meat on these probably about the eight nine thirty seconds again you can see the wheel there sport wheel so we continue around to the back you can see the limited badging uh four-wheel drive of course as jeeps are uh and also the backup camera there also and we'll open up the back hatch you can see you got a nice uh, cargo cover back here uh you got 40 60 fold down in the receipts if you need a little more room you also got a 12 volt power supply in the back as well uh, underneath here is where you'll find your spare tire and your jack tools, oil funnel, things of that nature. So everything's all located in the back. Continuing around here to the driver's side again, just to show you matching Continental tire again, about eight, nine, 30 seconds on these rear tires. They're nice. See the wheels in good shape there. And then just give you a look here at the driver's side. Very clean interior, no rips, tears, stains, or odors. Previous owner was a non-smoker. And we'll give you a shot of the driver's side. As you can see, full power seat on the driver's side versus the passenger. Also power lumbar, which is a nice feature. Now, before I get into showing you around the interior, I always like to show the key. You can see this is a proximity key. So it's push button start, integrated fob, as well as remote start factory equipped, which is a nice feature. We also have two keys as denoted by the tag there. Now, as we continue the tour, you got your power locks, power windows, power mirror switches, all located right on the door panel. Let's go ahead and jump in, start the car up, kind of give you an idea what it's like behind the wheel. Just put your foot on the brake, press the start button. And you can see the miles there, 27,170 miles. Uh, we're gonna continue the tour here. Got your uh, headlamp controls, push button for fogs, auto headlamps. You also have your dimmers for your interior and your cluster. Got a stem to the left, which is your turn signals and high beams. Stem to the right, intermittent wiper washers, front and rear. Got the control pad to the left, which is to control your customizable dash. As you can tell, it's telling me to hook my seat belt, as you always should. There you see your trip computers, instant fuel economy, different gauges and temperatures, digital uh, speedometer, different vehicle settings that you can program and setups. Uh, you can get all your text messages and information right through the car. So that's all controlled there. You got your Bluetooth below that. Got your cruise control on the right. This is a big 8.4 inch, I believe, touchscreen AM, FM, and as you can see, Sirius satellite radio. Of course, you have the ability to connect your different media devices. Let's say you have a USB port, of course, or your audio direct. I uh, got your climate control buttons over here. And as you can see, dual sliders for your climate control, which is a nice feature as well. See, we got heated seats, passenger, driver, heated steering wheel, another nice feature, all comes standard with your limited. Of course, the ability to pair your phone. Got a compass that is not equipped to factory nav. They do still give you a compass. And then your different settings for your radio if you want to customize them are all right in there as well. 
analog controls if you prefer that over the touchscreen for both climate and audio or below that. Connectivity, there you see your audio pre-in, USB, 12 volt power supply. Of course you have your terrain selector here with the ability to lock it into four wheel drive. Not all all wheel drive models have that. That's why this is a four wheel drive. You can put it in if you want, take it out when you want. Also have the terrain selector here. If you know you're gonna be in less than optimal uh, traction control uh, environments, you can select which one you may be in at that moment. Got your floor shifter with the ability to select any of the gears. I believe it's a nine speed transmission. You can pick them just by up shifting and down shifting, tapping left and right. This vehicle has the auto stop feature essentially to save fuel. It will shut the engine off. Uh, while you're at a stop sign, you leave your foot off the gas, it'll turn it back on. If you do not like that feature, you can turn it on or off with that button. You've got an electronic parking brake there. Traction control the same way. It's always on unless you select the button if you choose to turn it off. Got an auto dimming rear view mirror, LED map lights, and I believe we have illuminated visors, as you can see we do. Uh, no, no sunroof on this model. It is a hard top. Now let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood and I'll show you this engine. Get out so I can pop the hood. There's your hood release right down there. I believe it's a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder variable valve timed engine. Very efficient. Uh, there you see, 2.4 liter. Uh, non turbo, normally aspirate. Very efficient though. Gets good power. You can hear it's very quiet. No exhaust leaks or fluid leaks. There's no corrosion on any of the electrical terminals. All your major fluids, either filling or checking them, are denoted with uh, dipstick handles in yellow or caps in yellow, as well as your crop rod, as you can see. So it makes it very easy to kind of keep up with checking and, and maintaining your vehicle fluid levels. I'm going to go ahead and shut this vehicle off and get into the next portion of our video. Now, I already explained we keep a copy of the auto history on the dash. We got the uh, mechanical checklist in the glove box. My job now is to kind of go over the cosmetic condition point out any minor imperfections like that stone, small little stone ship there tiny little one there as well uh, all the body lines on this vehicle are nice and straight though uh, no signs of any prior paint uh, has a clean history as I spoke of so uh, we try to buy them absolutely as clean as possible I don't notice any dents or dings other than the few chips I showed small little scratch right there by the uh, tail lamp tiny little chip on the rear fascia there couple little minor scratches here just from loading and unloading cargo on this top part of the rear fascia. Um, very, very, very common. Nothing on the uh, deck lid though. That's nice, clean. Rear quarter looks good. No dents or dings or scrapes. couple little stone chips by that uh, door handle there. I haven't really found a dent yet. Uh, it's very clean. A couple little scuffs and chip there on your mirror cover. Couple more tiny scratches on the hood and fender there. Couple more little tiny scratch there on the front part of that fender. Now we do have a few little stone chips bug damage across this lower portion. I'm just gonna quickly pan by, uh, as well as a few little stone chips on the hood. Very unavoidable. All vehicles are gonna have that if they spend any time on the road. But this is it, guys. Really a nice, light new alternative. Still has the remainder of uh, Jeep's comprehensive as well as powertrain warranties transferable to the next owner so you can buy this vehicle with confidence uh we sold a very uh a lot of these and they move very quickly so if you're interested please please give us a ring at area code 717-485-4224 or look us up on the web at www.thomasata.com again my name is kevin richards i appreciate your time watching this video i hope you found it beneficial and i wish you an excellent day